I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Last week, the Android developer blog showcased the Twitter engineering team, who turned to Jetpack Compose to kickstart a much-needed overhaul of the app's UI foundation. Compose boosted the velocity and efficiency of Twitter engineers' UI development, making it easier for them to modularize code, reuse components, and break down dependencies. They built the communities feature from the ground up using Compose, and described the process as being, quote, like magic, and a game changer, making, quote, developing UI not just easier, but also much more fun and intuitive. Read more about Twitter's success with Jetpack Compose on the post. The Flutter team announced the winners of the Flutter Puzzle Hack, which asked participants to push their creativity to its limits by reimagining a classic slide puzzle. Over 5,500 developers representing 120 plus countries participated. So head over to the post to see the winners and try their puzzles yourself. We're continuing to announce dates for the 2022 Google Cloud Summit Series, where you can be among the first to learn about new solutions across data, machine learning, collaboration, security, sustainability, and more. Upcoming events include the Google Workspace Summit on May the 4th, the Security Summit on May 17th, and the Applied ML Summit on June 9th. You can bookmark the post to easily find updates as news develops. For 2022, Season of Docs announced that 31 organizations will be participating in the program, which provides support for open source projects to improve their documentation. It gives professional technical writers an opportunity to gain experience in open source, raising awareness of docs, technical writing, and open source itself. Head on over to the post to find out how you can take part and to the website for the list of participating organizations. We announced MovieNets, a family of new mobile-optimized model architectures for video classification. The models are trained on the Kinetic 600 dataset to be able to recognize 600 different human actions, such as playing trumpet, robot dancing, bowling, and more, and can classify video streams captured on a modern smartphone in real time. You can download the pre-trained TensorFlow Lite models from TensorFlow Hub, or try it out using our Android and Raspberry Pi demo apps, as well as fine-tune your own movie nets with the Colab demo and the code in the TensorFlow model garden. The post has demos, performance information, and more. To learn more about all of this week's stories, make sure to check the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Last week, the Android Developer Blog showcased the Twitter engineering team who turned to Jetpack.